One, two, three. So you know where we are? Today it's time to do gymnastics. Oh shit, water bottle. I think we're a little bit late though, so we just need to... Uh... There's so much stuff always. Got everything, camera bag. I don't have chalk. I hope they have chalk inside. Oh, and check out my uh, my Toyota. It's new, sponsored by the way. Uh, but this is gonna be my car for the next three years. Pretty excited about that. It's the new Rave 4, four wheel drive, uh, <laughs> 222 horsepower. But yeah, it's a monster. Hello? Hey! Yes. Are you? I'm good. I'm ready. Yes. Do we have the gym to ourselves or? Yeah, yeah. Our, the one side. To okay. okay, this way? Yeah. So the first thing I need to do is to check the chalk. Yeah, this is good enough. I approve. I approve of this chalk. Good stuff. Socks. Old <laughs> socks. That's what you gymnasts uh, use, right? Uh, yeah, do? I mostly wear socks in this gym. Yeah. Cool. So what, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna practice or train the iron cross. Some handstand. What else? The planche. Planche, yes. yeah. And we're gonna compete in uh, the rope climbing thing. Who can do it faster without feet from sitting position to all the way to the top. Uh, Marcus said uh, earlier that uh, he used to be really good in this. Yeah, and I think I have the record in this gym. Oh, or, really? Or maybe in Norway. Oh, but, wow. Uh, I used to be really fast there. Okay. Well, that's like cycling, you know? Once it, you know how to do it, it's like. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll but see. I should be pretty fast too. Yeah, I think that's so. like I think climbing is yeah. what I do. So we need to start warming up, though, right? Yeah, slightly general warming up, and then we do some specific for wrists and some core, and uh, mm. yeah, just prepare our body for the for okay. the day. Yeah. yeah. How long? Is it twenty minutes? Yeah, we do tw twenty minutes today. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good. So when is the shirt coming off in gym in gymnastics? Let's do it. Let's do it <laughs> already. Yeah, sure. If you're warm enough, okay. it's okay. We do the cartwheel. Cartwheel. Yeah. You can start from from here, this position. One foot in front of the other, and okay. Yep. Perfect. You have done that before. Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Try to keep keeping a straight line. Yeah. Start in. Uh, with the hips forward and okay. land like this. I feel like a ballerina. Yeah. One foot and you always you bend point, your foot like point your feet. feet. Yeah. Point your toes. You yeah. Point your toes. Yeah, so like. Perfect. And then you straighten again? Yeah. And then point in your toes. Nice. All right, are you a little bit warm? Yeah, I'm pretty warm. Okay, then we do some uh, core. I mean, normally I don't really warm up, so this is, yeah. You're sweating. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I'm 
Uh, if you're not able to do it on your uh, toes, like this, you just do it on your, uh, on your knees, like here. Okay, yeah, this is what we do with the small kids, mm -hmm. because this two positions is the key positions in gymnastics. Then arch and uh, dish. Arch here, like a banana, Yeah. and dish here. That's, that's the key position in everything in gymnastics. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Feel good. It's a good warm up. Yeah. Feel ready? Uh, yeah. I don't know what's gonna come, so I don't know. You can choose what you want to start with. I think maybe I want to start with Iron Cross. All right. I think we need exercises for easy, medium, and hard. If you're a beginner, if you never tried it before, you should definitely start on easy and then move up gradually. Start with the easy exercise yeah. for uh, Iron Cross. Yeah. And uh, right now we're in a gymnastic gym, so we have a, a lot of equipment. Yeah. But uh, we will try and begin in the parallel bars, P bars. And you just jump up like this. And you just feel it here, which muscles you should use. And you can go up and down here. We call this a chicken. Okay. And some people like to go behind here. Some people like to go in front and lock it mm -hmm. with your uh, shoulder blades. I like to go just straight down. And use lats. Yeah. And I think this you can do in like a dips machine at a normal gym too, right? Or yeah, it's probably. It's pretty low, but yeah, you can do it. Just to feel it. Kind of hurts though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and you can go a little bit up and down and feel it. This is the same muscle yeah. you're using, just much easier. Yeah. And if this is very easy for you, you can just adjust it. They're wider. Like this. Okay. Yeah. And then you. Over right here. Nice. And then you can add some weight if you want. Yeah. In that way, you will. Um, prevent injuries at mm -hmm. the same time, because if you just go up in the rings, mm. just start right. pounding on Iron Cross, you, you will get hurt for sure. And if you're not able to do this, I guess you can rest your feet at something like a mattress or something, just sure. to take off a little bit of weight. Sure, yeah. Uh, so this is a good start. Yeah. Okay, let's move so. up to medium. Yeah. The medium exercise for uh, Iron Cross. Yeah. We are actually gonna use the rings now with this tool. Just click on this on the rings and you can see Straight away, the, the weight arm is up here now. Mm. So it becomes much easier. Yeah. And then we do it with the spotting. You go How back. do I spot you? Just, just, uh, yeah. you push just give me a little bit. Yeah. And go here. And up. Yeah. yeah. And do like between four and six repetitions mm -hmm. and try to hold as long as possible at the end. Okay. Before going back up. Yeah. Yeah, and here you can try to straighten your elbows. Perfect. Nice. Nice. It's like burning in the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take it to the next level with using these loops to uh, get the weight arm a little bit in also. Sorry. Yeah, as I was saying. <laughs> so now the, the loops is here and the weight arm is more in. It's here and now we're really closing in on the iron cross. It's still heavy. We can do, I'm not sure if I can do it anymore. Here. Yeah, I can do it. And you can do this. The Iron Cross has been like one of my like bucket list things, all right? The Iron Cross, the planche, and the handstand. I think that's also something that a lot of you at home want to learn. Thumbs up if you want to see more gymnastic videos. Okay. Oh, very nice. You can hang there all day. <laughs> yeah. And for this exercise, it must be beneficial to have short arms. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So if you have a minus ape index, this is good exercise. 
unlike a lot of other exercises because usually or for climbing at least it's beneficial to have long arms yeah but for this exercise as well as with like locking off and all that stuff it's good to have t-rex arms small little things okay next oh should we actually try to do them uh, i think so yeah you're ready for it yeah we're just gonna take a little break yeah and get then try it yeah i get some chalk You only need to stop the position. That's what you said last time. I'm gonna focus on that. And I'm then gonna, two seconds. Two seconds, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but. Okay. Come on, stop. One, two. <sighs> My arms are a little bit bent though, but. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how, how long are your arms compared to your height? What was your height? I'm uh, 176, 75, 76. So that's like 5'10"? Yeah, and my arm's a little bit longer. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. So actually so I have... Not that good for, no. for this exercise. No. Come on. Come on. No. No. I'm too fat for this now. <laughs> All these exercises you can do uh, with the rubber band to make it easier. So we just uh, hold it on the rings and you stand on it to get the, the rubber bands to, to help you pull yourself up. This is called a shiny bar. It's a high bar without any uh, choke on. And friction? No friction? Yeah, no friction. And we use these loops again, just to make sure you don't fall off. Mm -hmm. So you can practice to do the giants okay. around the bar. So I can show you first. Mm -hmm. So you just put put it like this mm -hmm. over, hands in, twist around. And then it's It is really painful in the beginning around the wrist. So this is like the first time where actually you don't want chalk because you want it to be slippery. Yeah. You don't want friction. It's painful? No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Thumbs up. This, yeah. Straight arms all the time. Yeah. And kick. And kick up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With straight arms. Nice, nice, nice. So, I think we will be able to do this with help today. Because it's not that dangerous, you just need to keep this position. Okay, straight arm, so... Yeah, so if you're not going right. uh, over the entrance, you will yeah. fall back. So okay. just don't stress out to do something else. Just, yeah. yeah, just make sure I have enough speed too. Yeah, so, so you can help me. You're very good behind now, yeah. behind like this. And you're good in the in the in the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're doing it a uh, arch, okay. But in uh, in front, you should do like this again, okay. this again. So you're doing a uh, dish, arch, and nothing. Okay. So dish, arch, and dish again. Yeah. I don't know. Ex I don't understand exactly when to do the dish again, though. Right after you passed middle. Okay. Then it's kind of like a kick like this. Yeah. So, and straight elbows, always straight elbows. Yeah. And if you want, I can give you a little bit more speed. Yeah. And if it's higher and higher, you can say, I can say if you're ready for it. No. Yeah. After a while, it hurts a little bit, so. You, you don't need to do, do so many swings. Okay. Yeah. You can do five. Yeah, five swings. That's, that's not five or six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. That was fun. Nice. Thanks. Nice. Good coach. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just like one, two, and I, I wasn't doing anything. You just did it all by yourself. I think this is you're very good at this position from climbing. I think yeah, from probably. the dinos and uh, yeah. the pulling. Yeah. So you just 
Yeah. Use all your power. That's the same movement as like sideways dinos. I think you use your momentum all right. with the feet and stuff, yeah. tipping. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Let's get back to the training though. This was more like a fun exercise, I guess. So now we're gonna practice the planche. I've never been able to do the planche before. We're gonna start with uh, easy, medium, and then hard. Yeah. This is easy. Yeah. We, we do everything with spotting. Okay. Okay. So what you do is your, uh, you put your um, hands here mm -hmm. and place your shoulders here. And then go up in sort of a handstand. Okay. And then I will spot you. Okay. Just kick up. Your partner is standing here and just holding here. Hold and up again. And you can also do with uh, split legs. Here, it's easier. And up again. Yeah. How was that? You feel it in your head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the blood is rushing yeah. to the head. When I was younger, we did like a ring strength training. We uh -huh. always did this with weighted on oh, our, okay. uh, our legs. Yeah. Then I feel like my eyes are going to pop out. <laughs> we need a spotter though. In the, in the beginning, yeah. yeah. And after a while, you can do it alone. Here. And just do it eccentric. Yeah, just go up and then yeah. break the... Yeah. And if you're strong enough, you go up again. Yeah. This is very easy to, to just try yourself. Mm. You cannot do much damage doing this. Yeah. And you can do use like uh, benches in your gym or uh, yeah. whatever. All right, medium level. So here, try to get your shoulders in front. Mm -hmm. so your position should be like here, yeah. your shoulders. Then bend your legs up like this. Okay. More up with your uh, back, like lower back, more yeah. up, yeah. If I was able to, <laughs> I yeah. don't think I am able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For some people it's hurting to have it uh, like straight. So okay. Do it like this. That's better. It's yeah. better for your wrists, but yeah. again, a little bit more heavy actually. For me, it's uh, it's only the shoulders that okay. fail. Yeah. Number uh, two in this. Yeah. It's the same, only with uh, you just kick out and in. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also can do with split straddle legs. Yeah. The hard part for me is to be like this. Yeah. Because being like this is okay. But... Yeah. Just do small, small yeah. adjustments beginning. With these also, you're not too far up from the ground. Uh, yeah. I can't do that. Second part of the medium level. Yeah, the last one. Yeah. That's from handstand. You do it eccentric. Do okay. handstand. Split your legs. Uh -huh. You have a partner standing like here and yeah. hold your hips. Just go as slow as possible now. Okay. And try to hold the position. But Yeah, something like that. Nice. Yeah. And spreading your legs makes it easier, right? Yeah. yeah. If you can manage to do it split legs, it's just to try to keep them together. It's much, much more uh, heavy, and I cannot do that anymore. But uh, some people can, of course. Yeah. yeah. And also here you can do it, as I said, with rubber bands. Like, mm -hmm. use them yep. as a tool. But you also said that you have a challenge on these things. Yeah, right. We can do that. Maybe we should try that first. I don't actually think this is a real challenge for you. No. So the thing is, you're hanging underneath with your legs in cross. Yeah, like, like that. This. And you're not allowed to uh, release those legs. And you, the challenge is to get up on top on your stomach on this one. You can release your arms, but yeah. not your legs. Okay. And you start from a hanging position like that. Yeah. Can you do it? Last time I did this, I got a bit flash in my neck. Yeah. Because I didn't warm up. It's so weird because it feels like your body is locked. <laughs> Oh. 
so much harder than it looks. <laughs> Nice. Oh, uh, the legs released. Okay, now I got it. Okay. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Good one. <laughs> That's definitely the thigh, that's the trick. Yeah. Get the thigh over first, and then roll the body. <laughs> I think we should start with uh, easy, medium, hard on this too. Yeah. So if you've never done this before, you should start with easy and then move up. So what is the first step, would you say? What was the first exercise that you, for to train handstand? In handstand, you, you will have uh, straight shoulders up here. Mm -hmm. You will not have shoulders like this because then you have to compensate with your back. So we have to train with straight shoulders. And what we'll do is use this block. You stand up like this, uh, arms, like the shoulder width and then you pull your chest back as you can see I have straight, pretty straight shoulders now mm -hmm. and you can go in here and look look at the ground here you can stay for maybe 10-15 seconds a couple of times and the bouncy floor is gonna make it a little bit harder right because it's moving a little bit it's only harder to stand still okay that's a little bit softer yeah. so it's easier to do it on the like uh, concrete or uh, hard surface, yeah, hard surface yeah. Yeah. fingers spread out or yeah if you spread them out you have more balance yeah so and then put pull your chest in in here this way yeah yeah and what we will see we'll try to get a straight position from here so Right now, I want Magnus to be like this. This is more or less the straight position. This is perfect. And do you have a stretching exercise to get to soften the shoulders for that? Just do like this, okay. or with straight arms. Just a little bit to yeah. stretch them out. Push down there. Yeah. And here you can use your no, like this. Okay. I'm not able to hold it myself. No, then you can use uh, like a bar or something. Yeah. To hold it. To hold like this. Yeah. Yeah, my shoulders are uh, stiff that way. Like they're not so stiff this this way. No, that's that's good. I never even thought of that way, to be honest. No. But just keep it in your mind yeah. to have straight arms when you're doing handstand. Okay. Yeah. Next, medium level. <laughs> yeah. Then we will use a wall. And the easiest way is to just start from almost like a push-up position with your legs on the on the wall, uh -huh. and then you just walk yourself up to the position, and you start with your arms a little bit from the wall, and once you're getting uh, more and more strong in this exercise, you can get it more and more in like this. Try to squeeze your bottom when you're standing. Yeah, perfect. It's easier when your when your body is like tight. So squeeze your bottom, squeeze your legs, your toes. It's easier. So what is the hard uh, level? Or the hardest is of course doing do it, it by yourself. Yeah. And you have to do a lot of handstands to to master the handstand. Mm -hmm. But if you have a buddy or anything, you can uh, help to okay. hold each other yeah. and try to put them in the balance okay. and then try to release it. Should we do it on the mat or just the floor? We can do it on the floor. So if you On fall. the bouncy floor? Yeah. yeah. All right, so one way to do it is that you're just kicking up and uh -huh. I just spot you. Yeah, okay, perfect. So I just go up here? Yeah, I will, I will spot you. Yeah, perfect. And I try to make your balance like here. Should I point my toes? Yeah, do that. You're in the gymnastic hole. Yeah. And just try to find so, balance. Yeah. 
Do I use my fingers to? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Small adjustments all the time. Uh, if I think can... I'm not so strong with straight fingers, like to push no. down like this. No. I'm used to always bend my fingers, so this... If you see me when I'm at the handstand, if I st yeah. I'm standing still, I use my fingers all okay. the time. I think for me, I would have to start practicing with a medium level, uh, because I don't have anyone to spot me, and so that's a good, good way to start. Yeah. Okay, one more time. But you actually did, you're in this level now, you can try by yourself also. Okay, yeah. So it's as, li as long as you don't fall down on a hard floor or anything. It's yeah, not the only thing I feel like if I get up, I'm only gonna be like one second. And you can try to walk. Okay, okay. Okay, you spot? Yeah. Perfect. And balance. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's really nice. Feel it also yeah. in my back. You're using middle of the back that you didn't know existed. Yeah. That's cool. I'm gonna practice that for next time. I think uh, we're gonna end today off with a challenge. Okay. Climb the ropes. Your specialty, or it used to be at least, right? We'll say today. I think it's around between six to eight meters, maybe seven around there. Yeah. Yeah. So no legs, mm -hmm. legs should be pretty straight, right? Is that a rule as well? Straight like this? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's too strict. Yeah. Just yeah, no just legs. No legs. Fastest person to the top. Yeah. And you have to hit the beam? Uh, the, the metal. The metal. Yeah. This metal before the... Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One. Two. Three. <laughs> I think I beat you by half a second, but I was so slow in the beginning. Yeah. I missed a rope a couple of times. That was good for me because you beat me last time when in the climbing gym. <laughs> but I think we're gonna end today's video. Uh, make sure to check out Marcus and Marcus on Instagram. Like this video if you wanna see more gymnastic stuff and uh, subscribe with post notifications if you're not already and uh, we'll see you in the next video I'm out of breath